So 25 years old. Don't worry. Any mistake is an income. It's a wonderful revenue for you. So I tell myself and told my young people: Before 20 years old, be a good student. When you do entrepreneur, just learn some experience. Before 30 years old, follow somebody. Go to a small company. Normally, in a big company, it is good to learn processing. You are a part of a big machine. But when you go to small company, you learn the passion. You learn the dreams. You learn how to do a lot of things at one one time. So before 30 years old, it's not which company you go; it's which boss you follow. It's very important. A good boss teach you differently. From 30 to 40 years old, you have to think very clearly. You're working for yourself. If you really want to be entrepreneur, when you're 40 to 50 years old, you have to do all the things that you are good at. Don't try to jump into the new area. It's too late. You may be successful, but the rate of dying is too big. So 40 to 50, think about. How can you focus on things that you are good at? But when you are 50 to 60 years old, work for the young people because young people can do better than you. So rely on them, invest on them, making sure they're good. When you are over 60 years old, spend time for yourself on the beach, sunshine. <laughs> right? It's too late for you to change normally. My advice to the young people: 25 years old. Make enough mistakes. Don't worry. You fall, you stand up. You fall, you step. Enjoy it. I mean, twenty-five oh. years old. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. <laughs> okay. What would you do if you were a twenty-five-year-old man? Well, first, I would love to go back to twenty-five years. <laughs> I would do anything to to be back to twenty-five years. Um. I think I would go to China and、uh, see the market there, and go to America and think about it, and go back and come back to Korea.、Uh, I think opportunity is everywhere. Honestly, when people think about internet is the future, ten years ago internet was so good. No, when nobody believed internet was so good, now internet is so tough because all the smart people go to internet. So you should go to the off ground. There are so many opportunities. If you run a restaurant, if you're really interested in running a restaurant in Korea, using IT technology to making sure the restaurant is perfect and unique. If you want to open a barber shop, making sure you use the IT technology and data technology be the different. It's not only the high tech that works. There are a lot of business if you're using IT better. That'd be fantastic, right? So,、uh, Prime Minister said I'm a genius. I don't think I'm a genius, uh, and um, I would love to be a genius. <laughs> But when I sit next to Bill Gates, I think I'm a genius. When I speak Chinese, he cannot speak. When I speak English, well, okay, we both—it's not bad. You have—we all have to think opposite. When everybody agree, wait one minute. One minute, think about it. Is that right? Is there an opportunity? When everybody against it, just wait for one minute. Think about it. So, 25 years old. Don't worry. Any mistake is an income. It's a wonderful revenue for you. So I tell myself, and told my young people, before twenty years old, be a good student. When you do entrepreneur, just learn some experience. Before thirty years old, follow somebody. Go to a small company. Normally, in a big company, it is good to learn processing. You are a part of a big machine. But when you go to small company, you learn the passion. You learn the dreams. You learn how to do a lot of things at one one time. So before 30 years old, it's not which company you go; it's which boss you follow. It's very important. A good boss teach you differently. And before, th- from 30 to 40 years old, you have to think very clearly. You're working for yourself. If you really want to be entrepreneur, when you're 40 to 50 years old, 
you have to do all the things that you are good at. Don't try to jump into the new area. It's too late. You may be successful, but the, the rate of dying is too big. So 40 to 50, think about how can you focus on things that you are good at. But when you are 50 to 60 years old, work for the young people. Because young people can do better than you. So rely on them, invest on them, making sure they're good. So when you are over 60 years old, spend time for yourself. On the beach, sunshine, <laughs> right? It's too late for you to change, novelty. But I, this is my, my advice to the young people. 25 years old, make enough mistakes. Don't worry. You fall, you stand up. You fall, you stand up. Enjoy it. I mean, 25 years old, enjoy the show, enjoy the show. Okay, thank you. I a lot of fail. I fail for funny things that I failed a key primary school test for two times. And I failed uh, three times for the middle school, middle schools. You know, for three years I tried to fail in the university. So I applied jobs for 30 times, got rejected. I went for a police, they said, no, you're not good. I went to even the uh, KFC. When KFC came to China, come to my city, <laughs> You 20, 24 people went for the job. 23 people were accepted. I was the only one guy. <laughs> and we went for police. Five people, four of them accepted. I was the only guy that I rece received it. So for me, being turned down, rejected. Oh, by the way, I told you that I, would, I applied for Harvard for 10 times rejected. <laughs> I know I'll be rejected. Yeah, sorry I just don't now. want to say that. Yeah, sorry now. <laughs> I think we have to get used to it. We're not that good. Even today, we still have a lot of people reject us. I, I don't think in this world there are a lot of people be rejected more than 30 times. If we, you know, the only thing we never give up, the only thing like we're like a forest gone, we keep on fight, we keep on change ourselves. We don't complain. Whether you were successful or not successful, I find that one per people, when they finish the job, if they make the mistake, if they fail, if they always complain to others, this guy will never come back. If the guy only check himself, yeah, something wrong with me here, something wrong with me there, this guy has a hope. I learned my English by myself when I was uh, 12 years old. For whatever reason, I don't know, I just fell in love with the language. Every morning from 5 o'clock, I rode a bicycle about 40 minutes to the Hanzo Hotel, looking for foreign tourists to teach me English. I took, showed them around the city, and they told me English. My English is not perfect, but the things I learned so interesting because the things Americans, the foreign tourists went to China, they told me are so different from the things I learned from my parents and my teachers. <laughs> yes, I was in a cultural revolution, everything I taught, so different. Since then, everything I learned, I've got a habit. You have to think use your own brain to think about it. just one more minute. When everything body says yes, Wait for one minute. When everybody says no, wait for one minute. You think about it carefully. Because if you look at the world in a different way, you might do it in a different way. And tonight I'm so honored and inspired by the uh, the all the uh, game changing partners. By listening to their stories, I know there are so much things I I should do. I could I should do better. There's so many things we can do. And I think that uh, I'm here today not to represent myself, it's to represent all the small guys, all the small business that I've been working with. 1995, when I left my university, I said, I told my, my uh, president of the university, I said, I'm going to be a, an entrepreneur doing internet. He said, what is internet? I said, I don't know. <laughs> and then he listened for two hours, say, okay, Jack, you know, I know you want to do something. I don't know what you're going to do. But 10 years later, if you want to be back, please be back. And I say, okay, within 10 years, I'll not be back. 
I know as a teacher, as I said, teacher, you always believe the future. You believe knowledge will change people's life. You believe and you hope that your students are better than you are. The students are the best of partners. Today I'm not a teacher, but I got CEO and Chief Education Officer of my school. So people, my, my colleagues don't like me because I talk a lot. And I say, I do the talk, you do the work. <laughs> That's a lot of work, right? When I start a business, it's, it's so difficult to be a small business owner in China. It took me five months to borrow $500 and still fail. No chance. And it, it is, it is, it is, and I have no any idea about how to run a business. And when I go to register a company called Internet, the registering officer said, no, there's no such a word Internet in the dictionary. How can you register an Internet? So they say, you have to register another name. Say, he was it? what's the name? He said, computer consulting firm. And I have no idea about what is computer. So my first company is Anzo Hope, cause computer consulting firm. It was tough. Without knowing anything about technology, without knowing anything about computer. In the past 15 years, I've been working. I call myself like a blind man riding on the back of the blind tigers. <laughs> Those experts riding horses, they all fell. We survived because we worry about the future. We believe the future. We change ourselves. We never complete the others. And I believe one thing. I told my team in my apartment, we have to prove ourselves because if we if we can be successful, 80% of young people can be successful. We don't have a rich father, we don't have a powerful uncle. We do not get one dollar from government, we do not get one dollar from the banks. We start from zero. So we have to work hard. It's not a proof of us, it's a proof of our generation. It's a proof of the internet power. So this is I want to uh, always keep on sharing with the young people. And the other thing I believe always is small is beautiful. If nobody helps the small guys, we can use internet to help the small guys. Because big company, SOE, which is the business owned by government, they taken care of. They were taken care of by government. Multinational companies that can taken care of by Wall Street, by the uh, money. But only small business, nobody taken care of. If we can create values for them, then we can success. Our philosophy is always this. If you can help others successful, and then you will be successful. I'm not in talking law, but I'm the person who believes the future, believe the young people, believe the innovation. And today, by talking that, I want to say one thing, as just the general secretary said, the world is full of troubles. Today the world is full of complaints. I complained when I was 20 years old. Bill Gates took all the, you know, Microsoft, IBM, Cisco, they took their big companies. And to us, oh, we are hopeless because they are too big. <laughs> we complain. But now I never complain. I said, well, I'm a big guy too. <laughs> <laughs> and I told one to tell the young people, when most people complain, where is the opportunity is? People start to complain, some people complain, some start, people start to change themselves, change to others. Where the opportunity is, is where the complaints are. Where the trouble, where is the opportunity. And I always believe that. And this is how we go through. And the last and very important, I'm going to be giving you a t-shirt, another t-shirt, right? This is the t-shirt, it's the, it's the uh, special edition for Alibaba IPO. And, uh, very, it's all made by small guys. And this is a small guy, and the small is beautiful, and the small is powerful. But in this institution, very few people know that we have a secret code for Alibaba success. Just like Open Sesame is the secret code for Alibaba. The secret code for everybody is keep the dream alive. Because it might come true someday. This is what the secret code is. Thank you very much. Thank you.